Hello everyone, hope 2022 is treating you well so far. You're off to a flying start. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these vinyl haul videos, so I thought it was about time I put that right and shared with you some of my recent purchases as I continue to build up my collection again. As I previously mentioned, I'm back in the record collecting game and loving it. That realization that uh, nothing beats having a physical copy of your favorite music. It's, it's actually worth something which was always the problem with uh, with the digital era for me. Music had become so devalued. It was all so disposable. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why vinyl sales are so so much uh, on the up again. So, um, so yeah, so let's start with a couple of packages that have just arrived. I actually know what this one is. This is uh, got the cellar door sticker on it. We've uh, got a new vinyl release out on the label. We've started producing quite a bit of vinyl. Well, I'd say quite a bit. We've got to try to do two or three releases a year which uh, in the current climate is uh, not so easy because it's not so easy to get, get vinyl pressed uh, at the moment, especially for independent labels. But our new one is out. It's called Magic Black Plastic Volume 2, which funnily enough follows on from Magic Black Plastic Volume 1, which came out uh, at the end of last year. And uh, very pleased to say it's got four, uh, four classics from the label, some gems that have been on uh, Celador over the last uh, few months. Uh, with Steve Parry's uh, What You Make It, the Renato Cohen remix, uh, Charles Webster's remix of My Own Racket Abuse, uh, Anthony Papa and Jamie Stevens, Here We Go, and Squire's True Religion, the Hans Beger remix. So, uh, yeah, out now. Get it at your uh, local record emporium, or, uh, or indeed you can get it from our website, celadorrecordings.com. And if you had missed it, there is uh, Volume 1 as well, with Danny Howell's Shortwave, Adam Ten and Mitagami's uh, Face the Sky, uh, Dinox and Becker's Skylab, and Goom Gum and Gaidakova's Freedom. So uh, two 12s with four classics, Solidar classics on each one. Uh, well worth grabbing hold of. Next up, um, not sure where this one is from. Quite a few people have been asking me where I get things from. Um, I've got a, got a few regulars. This is from Tonica actually in London. You still do uh, sh great mail and order, and obviously the shop's great if you're ever, ever in London town. You know, on this one we've got a uh, Toy Tonics uh, latest of a by Session Victim called Chunky Dent, which is really, really cool. If you've not heard that, well worth checking out. And a repress of uh, Patrice Boyamel's Glutes and Engage on Afterlife. Been after that one for a little while, but they are finally back in stock again. Juno is another one where I get stuff from regularly. They've got a great mail order for electronic stuff, well, for all kind of stuff, really. But, um, yeah, very easy to uh, to get a, a bunch of stuff from them. They have a good stock. Um, and this is the latest I've got from them. Probably the best album of the year so far. Of course, Bonobo, fantastic stuff. A couple more that I picked up. The uh, Stefan Budzin and Mark Romboy Luna remixes, which have got four excellent remixes on there. Callisto the Bemboma mix. Ferdinand by Anna and Weber, Era did Triton, and The Economist mix of Phobos. Four crackers, well worth uh, a purchase. And uh, as is this, this is uh, more of a, like a, sort of a disco-y kind of influenced, funky house thing um, by Clive from Accounts, the wonderfully named Clive from Accounts. Uh, on his own, which are, and his label's brilliant as well, on income tracks. Clive from Accounts on income tracks. Um, <laughs> that's uh, Tell Me is the, is the lead cut on there that I really, really like. Another shop that I use regularly is uh, Global Grooves in Stoke. My good mates at Global Groove. This is a package I got from them not so long ago. Uh, it's got the Inella, uh, uh extended EP on Dynamic, which uh, got Forced to Bend on there, which is really, really good, and Red Thread as well. Um, Mark Romboy on Systematic release from last year. Uh, Empathy and Bluth uh, Bluthner, both really good cuts. Uh, there's a Last Night on Earth EP there, Sasha's label, which has got a few bits and pieces on Hunter Games, under Silver, Fur Coat, and uh, Sasha himself with Le Fleur, the, the uh, collaboration that they did. And then uh, Rasheen Murphy as well, the reflex revisions of a couple of tracks from her last album, Narcissus and, uh, and Capable. And then some other bits and pieces that I picked up recently. Um, I've been had a couple of months off through the festive holidays. And then the beginning of the year, it's always a, a good time for me to get in my record room and spend a bit of time in there and, and look back at the previous 12 months. So yeah, some, some of the best albums of, of 2021. Uh, Bicep was definitely in there. And of course, Salt 9 was their latest thing. I mean, everything that Salt have done pretty much have been, has been fantastic. And, and the producer actually behind Salt, Inflow, um, was also the producer behind Little Sims. 
album, which is probably the album of 2021 for me. Well, it is for sure. Um, absolutely love that. Um, and then also Uncle James Lavelle, uh, solid as ever, latest from him. Took ages to get that, ordered it in about February, finally got it just before Christmas. Well worth it in the end. And then other stuff that I've picked up recently as well. Um, I've been after Joe Goddard's Gabrielle for a, for a long, long time, but it was really expensive trying to get hold of a copy. Um, and then uh, Greco-Roman, uh, which is the label it was on, um, actually did a, a thing through their band camp, uh, which again is another great place to go buy vinyl from if you're uh, not on band camp. It's the platform that really kind of looks after labels and artists more so than any other really in terms of the, the markup that they get out of, out of sales of merchandise and vinyl and whatnot. Um, but yeah, Greco-Roman, they did a, a best of Greco-Roman uh, three 12 inch um, collection that's got lots and lots of bits and pieces of their best stuff on there and Joe Goddard and Gabrielle is on there. Okay, here's an interesting one. Spent a bit of money on this, cost me, cost me a small fortune, but uh, well worth it. It's the uh, picture disc of the Circo Loco 20th anniversary release. It's got Rampa Terrace on one side and and me Garden on the other. Um, and they only think they only did a couple of hundred of them and they're quite scarce. And uh, so worth quite a bit now. So uh, invested in one of those two, two of my favorite tracks anyway, but well worth having in the collection. Some other bits and pieces that I've got as well. Um, been buying quite a few things from like people like And Him and Superflu, another And Him and Superflu together on Monoberry on Superflu's label. Another Monoberry from Superflu as well there. Audio Fly and Patrice Boymel, Atacama. Again, just filling in gaps of some of my favorite things from from the last few years, trying to get back up to speed. Cats and Dogs is another one. Feelings Factory, it was uh, out on Dirty Bird, uh, about 2019, maybe 2018. Another cracking track. Uh, picked up a couple of things direct on Bandcamp again from Free Range, Jimster's label. Um, the Alcine EP uh, from Clavis was uh, a big favorite of mine a few years back. And also there's a uh, Matthias Shobi, Shoba remix of the Black 80s there. The Soul Wax. Always good on the vinyl front. Always releasing good stuff through their Dewey imprint. Uh, this is their remix of Sylvester. You make me feel my real absolute classic, which they did from 24 track using the original parts. This is the Orlando Vaughan remix of Kate Bush running up that hill. Another well sought after track. I think there's just been a repress of that actually. So, um, so well worth trying to get hold of one of those if you can while they're out and about. And same again for 808 States. In Your Face, the Bicep Remix, which you just had another re repress. A couple of other older ones that I've been after, filling in gaps again. Underworld Scribble, an old drum and bass favourite. And uh, Daniel Bat for Lashes, the Duke Dumont Remix is there. So another one here that I just got through, Discogs. This has been something that I'd had for quite a while. Um, and finally decided to uh, grab it while well, a copy came available. There's only been one or two copies available on Discogs. Paul Epworth, Adele's producer actually, but made a, a great EP, uh, a great LP rather, called Voyager. And uh, there was a track on it um, called Voyager, the lead track, um, which they did a 12 of, only 250 made. That's 200 of 250, I managed to get one. It cost me a little bit, but it was well worth it. It's one of my favorite tracks from the last few years. And also, um, Kieran Fortet. Uh, as, as KH, Kieran Hebden, the track that he had out using uh, this the sample from Nelly Furtado, Only Human from, from a couple of years back. Got one of those at the same time. So um, so yeah, I've been busy and uh, there's plenty more on the way. In fact, I just uh, just literally just bought a, a package from uh, HHV in, in Germany. I say that's something worth saying. The, the vinyl uh, postage and packaging prices went a little bit crazy through Discogs and through uh, the whole Brexit thing uh, started to get quite expensive to get things in from Europe. But so quite a few of the record shops, especially the ones in Berlin, are, are doing this um, economy, FedEx economy thing. So you can get a package sent over for seven or eight quid. Uh, I've got four or five things coming from them. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed having a good nosy through my recent purchases as much as I did buying them. If you've got any recommendations, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you've been buying as well. So until next time, keep the flag flying for that magic black plastic. See ya.